a collection of specialized notes that are connected in a specific way. We call these specialized notes permanent notes, and they live in our Zettelkast. A permanent note can be made up of multiple subtypes of notes. Here you see literature notes, reference notes, fleeting notes, and relevant notes. Our goal in this system is ultimately to think and to write. We do so by the creation of permanent notes and the linking of those permanent notes together. The way we will link the notes together in Tana is by cross-linking what I call index terms and relevant notes. Index term is interchangeable with term in this system by using this structure and by creating things and linking things in this specific way, something really magical emerges. Our Zettelkasten becomes a near infinitely browsable catalog of ideas. Those ideas can generate new ideas as we browse them. All of those connections between all those ideas as the Zettelkasten grows, the amount of information that you'll find inside the Zettelkasten grows exponentially as a result of the interconnections that we produce. Not the notes themselves. The notes themselves are amazing and valuable, but it is the connection connections between the notes, just like the connections in your brain between your synapses that lead to the magic. I think it's time that we create our first note together. What you see here is a single page of the Kindle book. You'll notice that I have highlighted several things in the text. I've made notes on the highlights themselves. This particular highlight is the one that we're going to use as the subject to integrate into my existing Zettelkasten to demonstrate how this all works. I've made a note here about the information density in response to the comment that there is also more information than was ever stored in the form of notes. This is a critical concept. Your Zettelkasten is far more than the notes you put in it. The interconnections between the notes create a permutation that is enormous in terms of the possible combination of those notes, not unlike your mind. We want to kind of build that note from the bottom up. We're going to take this information here and we're going to treat it as if it is something called a fleeting note. Let's create a blank permanent note. This one will have nothing in it, but we'll have all the schema that we need in order to get started. We're going to take that text that I entered in response to the comment by the author in the book we're reading, and I'll drop that straight in to fleeting notes. Fleeting notes are whatever thoughts you have, whatever comes to mind. These aren't really meant to save for the long term, but there's no penalty for doing so in a digital Zettelkasten, so we will keep them. Let's also collect any of our source materials. Go back to the Kindle, but we'll see that I did have a quote here that I began this process from. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna copy that. Those go into reference notes, which you can see here I've annotated our direct quotes and things like that. So we'll put this in and clean it up. And then the Kindle is good about whenever you copy paste something, it brings along the reference with it. Now we wanna take that reference and we will put it here in sources. That way we'll just link the quote to the source and down here we can tag this as a source. This book has become a primary source in my overall database and I have a quote here that is linked to that source as a reference. Let's go back to our fleeting note. It's time now to develop this further. Let's clean up this language a little bit. Oops. So oftentimes my fleeting notes will not be great grammatically. I just write out whatever I think. The number of connections can rise quickly and with digital tooling, the number of connections can be orders of magnitude larger than in a manual system, such as the one that Niklas Neumanns used in his work. But even though limited, manual only give notes can yield shock results. This is a critical concept. Your Zettelkasten is far more than the notes you put in it. The interconnections between the notes create a permutation that is enormous in terms of the possible combination of those notes, not unlike your mind. We've taken a, a fleeting idea that I had while I was reading a book. We've broken it down into a series of bullets. Now these bullets are effectively claims. I am making, I am stating potential facts, but really they're just claims right now and they may need to be backed up. So if we say the number of connections in a digital Zettelkasten can arise quickly, because of what I've done here, I've already broken down my fleeting notes. I've made them look a little nicer, and honestly, they're all pretty good claims. So I'm just
just going to copy them and I'm going to bring them down here to this field. That's control C and control V, which really creates references. Now each of these, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tag it as a claim. The function of tagging as a claim comes from the configuration of the claim super tag, a little bit outside the scope here. I'm really just trying to show you how I use this, not how I made this. Those are two pretty different things. So we can get into that another time. So now that I've broken out those claims related to my fleeting notes, I'm pretty happy. And I might now want to think a little bit more deeply about what I've said here. Have I identified new terms that I've never seen before, or at least that don't I don't remember seeing before? Maybe I really only see one. We can say digital tooling. That's a, a new term. I if I if I had typed it before, it would show up here already because it would be a related node. For example, if I typed digital asset or digital Zettelkasten, and they're already here. The digital tooling is not a term I've used before. This is important because it creates future entry points to the Zettelkasten that we may wish to further define and develop more permanent notes later, thus extending the dialogue in our Zettelkasten, which is very important. We'll go ahead and tag that as a term. We have just about everything we're going to get here in terms of developing this note. It's time now to type the note out. Now, most good notes are really made up of a series of claims strung together in a passable paragraph. And in this case, I believe we will create the permanent note that we wish to log here from one or more of these claims. This particular note is really about information density, which I think could be another good term. Now that I have decided that this note is about information density, it's, it's really information density in a Zettelkasten, I think I'll just go ahead and make that my index term. So we'll tag this here and it'll automatically get uh, put in here and I also we're gonna do something slightly different here in fact so I want to go ahead and type it out now that we have our index term this is gonna become the entry point for this note we're just gonna type our note right here and I'll start it out by actually putting the index term information density we're gonna look at our claims I'm gonna compose my note because these claims are fairly complete in terms of writing I can just string them together so I'm gonna go with this one this one I'm just hitting control C uh, and control V to bring these back together up here and then the original and there you have it you have a you have a very interesting permanent note in fact because it is a permanent note made up of multiple claims inside itself which is fine we will have all the references we need to the source materials and we will have all the ways that we broke down the terms and the related terms now because we have put the information density here is the index term we now only have one more step to make this truly a well-connected new New note in our Zettelkasten. We need to connect it backwards to other notes like it. Now I am certain that I want to connect this to the term Zettelkasten. That's a no-brainer. We'll do that. Now what you may have noticed is that as I started typing, I started seeing other notes here. And these are very relevant. So I'm gonna go do that. And I also want this dialogue one. Let's see if there's anything else. Information, data, no, Zettel. Oh, digital Zettel casting is pretty important. No, I think that's it. I think we've, we've done a good job. Now, an important point is you don't have to necessarily get this connected to everything when you first create the note because ultimately you're connecting this notes to notes that came before it. Those notes are gonna be connected to notes that came before them. And over time, you may find that you wish to connect notes that already exist to this note, new notes to this notes, and that's totally fine. So if there's something particularly interesting or important, like I think Zettelkasten Brain, for example, is particularly important, and I would actually like to go on and connect that back to this new note. So I'll click in there, I'll go into the permanent note here, I'll go to my relevant notes, and I will connect back to this new information density note. Now there's no dead ends related to this, and we can browse our Zettelkasten and expand dramatically out from this first, from this lovely new note. So information density's permanent note looks like this. And you'll notice that that permanent note's made up of a number of claims, which is, again, it's totally fine whether you write it as a paragraph or string together the claims, it doesn't matter. But it says that the number of connections in a digital Zettelkasten can arise quickly. With digital tooling, the number of connections can be orders of magnitude larger than in manual systems, such as the one that Nicholas Lumen used in his work. The information density arises from vast numbers of interconnections between notes. I actually would like to add to this, so I'm going to go here. This information contained as a form of metadata, this link information contained as this is a form of metadata that is 
itself an emergent data source over time of great value. This is pretty much what people call their second brain. I think that's a really good note now. This will be quite useful in future thinking and writing. The way we would do that is how would we explore that in the future? Well, we start right here from this entry point that we called information density. And this is really, really magical. So information density is a term now, and it is a term that was first created and connected to this permanent note. But because of the connections we made, it is also related to other relevant notes. In this case, it's related to the Zettelkasten brain. If I go into the Zettelkasten brain, Note, and I open up relevant notes, you can see that's related to all of these notes. Oh, not just one brain, many brains. Let's go in there. And multi-brain, I've written this note, and it's related to this note, a group Zettelkasten. A group Zettelkasten is related to decentralization, thought networks, a Zettelkasten connectome. My gosh. A Zettelkasten connectome is related to semantic nervous system. The semantic nervous system is related to tools for thought stacks. Tools for thought stacks are related to Rome research. Aha. And we're using Tana in this case. You can see that we just did a random walk through my Zettelkasten notes as a representation of my thinking processes in concert with other authors, papers, ideas, terms, claims, and this will generate many more questions. This is a great jumping off point to talk in a little bit more depth about these parts of my Zettelkasten, which are questions, terms, claims, sources that create a lot of new possibilities for uh, self-directed exploratory research.